Ball in this game going up against his former team. How would he fare? Well, let's get you to the highlights and show you how the young man would do against his former employers. Some early holiday cheer between the club captains. First and oh, you shouldn't have from Claude McAuley. PSG taking the gift but not capitalizing on the early chances. This move producing a drive off the post and that was Guillaume Moreau right there. Later, PSG from a throw in. This is really much too easy. The return and a cross back stick. 1 0 against Soro. Getting it to go, but uh, you know, staying low key. Wants to honor his former club. Nothing too flashy, very respectful. Just past the 30 minute mark. How about 2 0? The ball works with Ludovic Julie. His angle effort. That's pretty good. 2 0 PSG. Let's take another look. Julie gets rid of it and in a hurry. And Christophe Rebeau. Can't reach it. Period two. Getting off to a good start for the host, though. Corner. Flick. And put home by Amadou Alassane. A one-goal contest. Most of the half still to go, remember. PSG hoping to regain the momentum. Almost do it. Sammy Traore putting one off the post. And it's cleared. And on we go. Final minute of the 90. For Guy Lewindela. Driving for a third. Uh-oh. That's Ben. Lewindela definitely knocked down by the keeper. So let's... Get you over to the spot. Forget the replay. That's a penalty. Oro stepping up and popping it in. Two for the returning hero. 3 1 PSG. You're fine. Let's see what uh, Lille was up to as they were host to Saint Etienne, Stade Metropole. And there's Saint Etienne's new coach, Alain Perrin, replacing Laurent Roussy. Most recently, Perrin guided Lyon to a seventh straight domestic title. And that will get you fired. Yeah, usually. Leading a team to a domestic what title. What was he thinking? Yes, uh, Lille in red, Michel Bastos uh, saved by Jeremy Jano, that in the third, and then again in the twelfth. Uh, Bastos was all over this game. Uh, Kevin Miralas on the far side to Bavatini Gomez, and he just missed that one behind Gregory Maliki. Lille get on the board, Eden Hazard on the left, and he'll pick the corner. Hazard uh, getting the game's first goal on a bit of flash here as he sets up the finish, which was fantastic. Five minutes later, Lille would score again. Bastos doing the work to get out of the corner. Then the chip ball to Ludovic Obraniak. Well done in the 34th. And Bastos kept the St. Etienne defense busy. Second half, St. Etienne on the rush. Dimitri Payet on the left. And Thielan rolls it off the post. And the follow-up is also blocked in the 49th. And St. Etienne's evening, evening would worsen. Hazard with the grab on Blaise Matuidi. And then it's a second yellow for a bad foul. Down two goals. St. Etienne now down to 10 men. Lille score a third. Vitek sent in by Bastos. 69th. And again, it's another delicate pass by Bastos. And nice finish as well. A corner for Lille. Obaniak would send it. And Bastos heads it. Geno with a quick reaction. The keeper stood his ground. 74th minute save there. Then in the 80th, another corner. Bastos is stopped, and Nicolas Pavarege is stopped as well. St. Etienne goes down again. C'est la vie, says Ferran. 3-0, the final. Fire the coach. Win would put them seven points up on second Marseille, who lost to Lorient on Saturday. Lyon playing in white and Bordeaux in dark. Bad Gerland, the venue here, and Johan Gurka for blue pad for Wendell, saved by Hugo Lores. Marouan Chamac on the follow-up, stopped by... John Alain Boonsong, Bordeaux with a ding dong of chances here, but it remained goalless after 11 minutes. Uh, free kick for Leon Juninho, the delivery. Sidney Gobu, the flash hitter, and saved brilliantly by Matthew Valverde in the 19th. This one was on the way in, but look at Valverde, the one handed save. Just past the half hour mark, Karim Benzema, a little give and go with Fred. France International. Scores his ninth. This guy is awesome. 33rd minute, Fred the soft touch, and no denying Benzema. Five minutes later, Kim Kallstrom, deflected strike. 38 minutes, the Swedish international striking, and it takes a heavy deflection off of the defender Mark Planets. Second half, free kick, Bordeaux. Wendell arcs it to the far post. Fernando Cabanagi tips it past the keeper. And the Argentine international certainly hoping that National team coach Diego Maradona was watching that. It was a goal back for Bordeaux, but in the end, Leon would hold the lead. 2-1 the final, and a seven-point lead at the top of the Moving on, Nice at home to Nantes, the hosts. A couple of wins in a row coming in, but it was not going on top in the opening minutes. Giran and Dow driving the free kick into an opening. Lionel Matizzi in the 
goal, and he just throws his arms up after that one. Another look at the low lefty. This one is a cruising. 12 minutes down the road, though. It is Nice drawing even. This dead ball producing a header from Habib Bamogo, 1-1. Haven't played 20 minutes yet. Second session, box four, Nice. This move almost producing the 2-1 marker. Olivier Echo Afni, just a little wide. I'm pleased. However, all of their domination ultimately plays off. Oh, pays off. Chaki Ben Sada popping it to Eric Mulungi. 2-1 Nice. That's the winner. And uh, there were three games.